many practitioners jump ahead and they're like, okay, I'm going to advertise this and this and this and this, but they haven't figured out what their values are and what their vibe wants to be. And so they don't, when they put things out there, there might, it might feel dis, discombobulated to the audience. And so part of really good advertising is consistency. You want to have the consistent look and feel, and you also want to have the consistent messages. So knowing your values and making sure that your values are showing up in every single social media post is some groundwork homework that everyone should do before they start really putting themselves out there because it can feel really salesy if all you do is say, look at me by my stuff, look at me by my stuff, look at me by my stuff without going to here's, here's who I am and this is who I resonate with and this is who I'm speaking to. I'm speaking to my ideal audience. My ideal audience is stressed out moms. My ideal audience is those with, with chronic fatigue. My ideal audience is spiritual entrepreneurs. Like figure out who your main target audience is because what happens in advertising, if you stand on a soapbox and you talk to everyone, no one is gonna listen. But when you say, I'm talking to the stressed out moms in the world, I've got the solution for you to help ground you, make you help you feel centered and get balanced, then the messaging is really clear. And especially if you have that personal experience, you know how exactly how to talk to them because you lived it. And so figuring out your branding's values, the vibe that you want to put out there, and then stay consistent with that. Like if you have a value, like for example, Reiki Cafe community's values are community. Hello, like we're all about community, creating that safe space, education. So we're constantly teaching. Hello, Q&A call, right? Um, where the, another value for ours is inspiration. Like I strive to be inspirational to others, other Reiki practitioners, that Reiki can be a career, that it doesn't have to be this hobby, the self side thing that you do, the side hustle that you do. No, you can actually make a good career doing Reiki. And so inspiration is one of our brand values. Another brand value is spirituality. So a lot of our posts want, we want to have it have a spiritual vibe because my target audience are Reiki practitioners. I know who my audience are. They're the Reiki practitioners that need support, that want to bring their entrepreneurship or spiritual de development to the next level. And it doesn't, and so that's my target audience. So I'm speaking directly to them. And so when I look at my values and go, okay, community, inspiration, spirituality, and education, I can go, okay, these are values I can stand on in every single post, everything, single blog, every single thing that I, I put out there, whether it's on Reiki Cafe Radio or otherwise, it has to be one of those things. So like yesterday we put out on Reiki Cafe Radio, um, I did an interview with one of our Reiki Cafe University graduates, Bridget um, Rudin, and she has a hugely insp inspirational story. She had near-death experience. She had a traumatic brain injury and really brought herself from um, coma through waking up in a three-year-old state of mind, not knowing how to walk, read, write, anything, to being a published author, to being a Reiki master, to being able to channel with the angels. And so it's like, this is an inspirational story. This is why we put it out there. And so getting really clear on your values is like super key. And then you can look at who, who do I serve in these values? Where do these, these values match my audience? Who do I want my audience to be? And then you can start speaking to that audience. And so um, and that can really help. So when you're starting to put yourself out there in your advertising, figure out those key components. What are your values? Who is your audience? And then you can start going, well, what's my vibe? Does my, if my value is, um, let's say my value is um, really uh, like edgy in your face. I'm like, just wake up audience. Like if that's my vibe, then my font's got to be bold and edgy. And so you really want to make sure that your, or if your value is like calm, serene, and peaceful, if that's your vibe, then you want to use like really graceful cursive writing. And so 
it all ties together because if there's a disconnect, if you're like this really edgy in the face, I'm going to tell you your shit I'm, as, as I see it type person. And then you have all this graceful spa, like website and posts, like it's going to be a disconnect when they come in to meet you and you're like in their face, it's like, you're not, you're not going to get return clients. <laughs> like, like it's a, there's a disconnect. And so you want to figure these things out early on. So the foundation is laid. Never again will I have to figure out my colors or figure out my, my, um, my fonts and all these things, because I know what my values are and it's going to match my vibe, my look. And that look is super important so that then it like rounds it out. And then when you get all of these basic foundational pieces there, then you can move forward with, okay, what's my trans transformational story and how can it connect to my ideal client? So let's take that stressed out mom scenario, because I think it's an easy one to use as a, an example. So like if my target audience is stressed out moms, I can tell my transformational healing story about how I've been a stressed out mom and how Reiki has helped me heal and transform my life so that I can have peace and I can have like timeouts and I can like focus on the things that bring me joy and therefore be a, a better mom to my kids. And so you tell your story about how Reiki has served you and through this healing process. And so these are some of the pieces that we really dive into in the Reiki Business Accelerator course. So if you haven't checked that out yet, do check it out because and and what we do is there's tons of pre-recorded trainings and then we do two calls a month. And so in those two calls a month, then we can get really like I can look at your fonts and I can look at your values and I can look at your vibes and I can go, OK, now from those make your posts make your posts that you can recycle over and over and over again so that you don't have to constantly do content creation all the time. And then how can you tell your story? How can you tell your transformational journey on social media, on a blog, on a podcast, so that then clients start coming in? Mm -hmm.